I, I just wanted to say one thing that I said to mm. Sheila, and then I'll turn it over because Tad just I saw his Go ahead, take it. Come up. I said halfway through this thing, I was like, when I realized how it was going to be done, I was like, oh, they're never going to stop singing, are they? They're just going to just keep just singing. Sing through. I said, this is like if you described a musical to someone who'd never seen a musical and then you <laughs> gave them a camera and said, go make a musical, this might be <laughs> what you would get. Or you said, go make an opera. Well, it's more like an opera. Than yeah. yeah. Well, it, I, is, always, it is more like an opera. It's called it? sing. It's called sing through. Sing yeah, through sing is through. operatic. Yeah. Like, which is fun because there's that whole scene in the garage at the beginning of the movie where they're arguing about operas. Oh, I uh, don't like operas. I like movies. Yeah. Better. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. yeah. But, but because also, every well, every brought, word that, of dialogue that, that is was a, that was a transitional line. You that way when everyone's singing you were kind of, it, it, that line sucks you into the fact that you were never going to hear a spoken word in this film. It, it tips you brilliant. off if you, didn't, if you couldn't tell. Yes. Yeah. Well, it was like that Red October I, effect. I love the they, postman. Yeah, zooms in on the mouth. You know? The postman keeps coming in in various kinds of weather and he has basically the same line that he sings. I know, it's great. There's, there's some clever little lines like that. It's well, and the, the argument between the the boss and, and uh, what's his name? When Boucher, he quit. Yeah. yeah when he quits uh, like yeah. that would that would have been in dialogue in a regular musical like sure right, have been right. so much enough. of it would have been yeah. however Do you want also, regular or supreme gasoline that certainly would have made a lyric in most movies which is yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want for, you never uh, paid for it either Sheila says she never paid for the gas you either. want premium regular premium regular <laughs> give you a premium. I, you know, like, <laughs> I also like i really enjoyed i haven't seen a movie since uh the the thief the cook uh, his wife and her lover uh where they matched the costumes with the backgrounds oh yeah oh yeah and like they didn't go as far as lighting like they did in greenaway's movie but uh, they definitely were playing around it was like that that short little alleyway that leads up there's the, like a mural in the background mm -hmm. there's uh -huh. the wet wet cobblestone streets and then there's a great bilious green the with house the peeling, the with the peeling paint yeah. and yeah. and it's like chipped away by everybody leaning their bikes against the, uh, <laughs> the, right. the so I, I i had a quick question for everybody yeah. what did did everyone watch the criterion version of this yes i did yeah because there's two different restorations and i would be very interested to see some of the first one because they did one in 2004 uh -huh. that was supervised by um a different person and this was supervised by his son i think right um but the whole thing was shot on three color plates and so they were able to go back in black and white on three color plates they oh, no, it was shot go in, back. it was original technicolor Technicolor yeah. then right. or, uh, uh, no it, it was, ecto ectocolor or whatever it was, it was yeah called. it was the it was the path, a different was, was the yeah. path a version of that it was the same three strips separate it's three strip color basically well, yeah it's, it's, well but that's it, the thing is that american movies did that european movies didn't like no, they that didn't, was no. that was the well that's because the germans at the end of the war had invented ag for color mm -hmm. and that's what right. the soviets used and everybody else basically well it did the trick because that color yeah. in this film was nuts it was like some it, wallpaper it, man they cranked the dial the wallpaper costumes it was <laughs> everything was just i mean look at that. what's but look at all of these posters i know like, mm -hmm. look at this vichy one uh -huh. let's yeah. let's remind let's remind everyone about vichy france did people go um, to vichy <laughs> back then is it like for the waters oh uh, the since the 19th century oh this okay. is this guy's golfing oh he's golfing yeah. okay all right golfing but i mean it's a spa town yeah, okay i wasn't sure about that but um yeah it was it was uh all you I got the, that you've got the yellow you've got the yellow raincoat over here and you know you've got this this uh, plaid shirt like there's... that's actually one of the less colorful shots in the movie you've got behind i know you too, yeah <laughs> no but every color in it pops yeah it does. Like yeah, that's yeah. you. This is this is obviously, if not a real location that they filmed in, based on a real location that they filmed in. Although I think this nicotine stain up here says it was a real location. Yeah. But it looks, it looks is, real. Uh, this is the cafe at the railway, the, uh, the train yeah. station, right? Yeah. But every but every single color that's in it pops because yeah. you can see the reality and then the unreality in front of it. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um. 
I, so this is going to be one of my big butt ones. Mm -hmm. Like I thought this movie was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um, I, uh, I liked the story a lot. I really did enjoy the story. Um, finding out that this is the favorite film of the guy who directed La La Land did not surprise me. Oh, no, uh -huh. not at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the um, Catherine Deneuve is beautiful and unbelievably and, beautiful, and just, and, and, and also gorgeous. just in, engaging. You're just mm -hmm. drawn into her yeah. through, mm -hmm. through the course of the movie. Mm -hmm. um, as is um, Madeline too, I think. Um, even though it's just kind of like staying in the back a bit during the, the beginning of the film just, but then when she uh, becomes a main character you're also very invested in her too right. which is one of the things i thought was interesting about this movie is i'm much more invested in the female characters yeah. like i yeah I'm, most definitely I, mm -hmm. um I, I like the mother character actually i thought she was really interesting the mother was interesting that was almost the, the most operatic character in the whole movie too mm -hmm. it's like the aunt giving, the aunt was interesting yeah. too oh, obviously yeah, yeah who was loving. who was wasting away what was she like 50 years old laying in the bed there 50 was old back then man. <laughs> she probably had she probably had cancer yeah yeah maybe she um, looked fine but <laughs> i the the big butt is i hated the music oh <laughs> overall really yeah overall i oh. i they just there's something about it that just rubbed me the wrong way the entire time and I don't have a problem with musicals. I don't have a problem with operas. It's just this specific, the music that they used and some of the dubbing, which was terrible. Um, the, some of the, the music just bothered me. I never, I was never able to go in a flow with the characters in this. It, it, it always sort of jarred me out of what I was watching. And, and it's a bummer to me because I like everything else about this. Mm -hmm. Like I really do like the whole package that surrounds this. And then it turns out that the cake is made of bran. Like yeah. <laughs> it's like a good it's, looking cake, but you wouldn't want to eat it. Only the, right. you know, it's, a, it's the central gimmick of the thing, obviously. And I'll give you the fact that, you know, I like musicals, you know, quite a bit, Ameri but American musicals where they mix talking and they mix singing. The thing is because they do that, when you come out of the, uh, you're walking out of a musical, you're going like, I want to be in America or, you know, tonight, tonight or something like that. Right. Because mm -hmm. they're tunes. We, we know tunes. Yeah, a continuous opera. It's like unless it's Wagner, you don't come out going, you know, da 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 da. That you know, said, like, that said, that you have never seen. You've never seen the Barber of Seville. Yeah, okay, okay. okay. Well, you've that's, never that's seen that's the Barber of Seville. But that, that's humble that's for sure. Puccini in general is, is yeah. also got some great tunes in it. That yeah. said, this this song, this movie has two main themes, mm -hmm. two tunes that I instantly right. recognized mm -hmm. that have just sort of entered, you know, everybody's pop culture consciousness whether you know the names of the songs or not That's i knew true. those melodies right the melodies, true. The melodies were, were familiar. familiar yeah yeah i just didn't like them <laughs> <laughs> like that's it's not like i th this is not a judgment against the film this is entirely a personal preference thing mm -hmm. like you know it's it, it it's like well, if the movie was in black and white and I said, I don't like black and white movies, that's a different right. thing. But like, I just didn't enjoy specifically how the music in this came out. Well, some of it, so much of it for me was sort of just interstitial, you know, do you want Supreme or regular gas? There was no great melody happening there. It was just seeing people sing, talking in tune with yeah. the music that was playing. And, and so it wasn't memorable or I also because there's no beginning or end it's not like a, a musical that you're accustomed to where now this song is going to come along to right they the have like a long, yeah, right. it doesn't have it, it doesn't have express highs. everybody's feelings at this moment it doesn't okay. have highs and lows it just sort of right it's bubbles compre along. it's yeah. compressed yeah. in the in the way that dialogue is compressed in movies yeah. like it, 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 it's really evident that you know when you said the la la land thing to me it's like oh yeah because the ending's very much the same it's not a movie of soaring love it's like okay, well, we grew up and we settled and here we are. And it's kind of sad, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. And that's the end of both of those movies. I so I love La La Land. It's, it was my favorite movie that year by far. And I know a lot of people disagree with me about that. And that movie, I was so close to hating. Like it was when he has that moment where he sees her out in the, in the, the audience and it goes through that whole scenario of him going to get her and they get back together and all that other stuff. I was like, are you fucking 
kidding me? Are you actually fucking kidding me? And then it snaps back, and the entire thing was him imagining what the oh, future they, could they be. They all creaked you. They all creaked you. They, <laughs> except they don't do it with the whole movie. It's no, just it's, that it's, it's yeah, just yeah, that yeah, moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And you see him accept the world as it is, which is the thing he hasn't been doing for the entire movie. Like that's yeah. his personal growth in that film is accepting the world as it is. Mm-hmm. Like I, that's what made me love that movie. I, I also think the performances are really good, but like, that's what made me love that movie. Yeah. This film doesn't have something like that for me, but I didn't mind that much as far as the story goes. Yeah. Uh, also, I loved the fact at the beginning that when he meets up with her for the first time, they embrace and she goes, you smell like gasoline. Uh (laughs) Because that's something that I've experienced with somebody that you're in a relationship with is somebody hugs you and says, you smell like your work. Mm -hmm. For me, it was like, oh, you smell like shoes. (laughs) You you smell like the rubber in shoes. (laughs) Like, (laughs) but that's, but I do, you know, she smelled like coffee. Like right. that's, that's how, <laughs> that's how people, that's how people are again, going back to the last movie and smell. smell. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's also right. can an umbrella shop survive? Just back. We then only it sell could. umbrellas. Back then it could, I guess. Yeah. Although so she the, wasn't doing that well. No, yeah. which it was still, it was like probably a hundred francs a month or something like that for rent, you know, and like, all you do is sell like She's 80,000 francs in debt. I know. Who knows? Maybe they weren't doing very well. Well, they, they, uh, right at the end of the 50s, they came out with the new franc, which was like 100 to 1. Right. Mm. So 80,000 francs is probably 800 francs, and 800 francs is probably like 100 bucks. 150 yeah, it was bucks. Hate. But back then, it was like <laughs> hard to overcome that one. But uh, also, it was interesting that they embraced the fact that the guy started out when and working in a kind of a European gas station. And Ray's. makes an American gas station. I know he ends up at the American yeah. gas station. Well, because they have Chevrolets. Right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It was like SO product placement in this thing because he has the model of the gas station in the room. Yeah. Right. In that one scene. Uh-huh. That felt but really Exxon's cool. got deep fucking pockets, man. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Well, that, that was, I think the first one. I a uh, particularly, other, you know, I liked the fact. Oh, Royal Dutch Shell. Yep. What? EP. I said Royal uh, Dutch Shell. Uh-huh. Yeah, Royal Dutch Shell. Uh-huh. Uh, well, SO is Standard Oil of Ohio, right? Yeah, that's right. It's, that's it's right. Exxon. Yeah, it's Exxon, yeah. It well, now, yeah. Exxon, it's yeah. Standard Oil back then, yeah. Still that's SO it. in Canada, which is uh-huh. weird. But Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. Well, they, they didn't uh, shy away from the product placement in this at all. There's, there's plenty of... Well, that, that was the only thing that made it really look like a new wave flick to me was uh-huh. like... Guitar always has like the detergent yeah. and dishwashing liquid in the you know prominently displayed, yeah. and they he really did go out of his way with the gas station at the end, you know where he's. Uh, it's also a little like the ending of Back to the Future, where you know it's like he has that fuck up, but then he comes back at the end and he's getting you know like four years later. Oh yeah, they're paying out money like you know. Here's your eighty thousand francs back. Well, yeah, but, uh, uh, well, two things. One, I'm looking at the uh, Tad and John are at the bottom of my frame, and the uh, the color scheme. Your backgrounds is continuous. It's pretty trippy. It's pretty trippy. Oh yeah, my walls are pretty close to those. Yeah, walls, it's like you're like you're like in yeah. that set right now. It's kind of strange. <laughs> uh, but um, my wall right here that you can't see is pretty similar to that. It actually <laughs> would be that it would be the intermediate between his and mine. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my walls would, are actually gray, and I think those walls are green. But it's all yeah. kind of mine. See, pretty close. Yeah. Well, C-foam. the thing that the thing that that kind of like struck me with this was you know that the diamond merchant came in and basically saved their family's asses by like buying the necklace and you expected this guy to be like this kind of grasping dick but he was actually a nice guy yeah yeah it's like it was just busy for this kind of film that actually having a that the uh, interloper who's going to break up their our hero and heroine is actually a decent well, fellow and deserves so it. so he's mm-hmm. a side character in the last movie and that story about lola is the story of the last movie like the literally the the Lola character carries on, or that that's the character from Lola, and it carries on through. This. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. So like that, he he is slighted in the previous film, and he gets the girl in this one. Wow. 
That's kind of cool. What's also, the previous it's, film? It's called Lola. Yeah. This um, is a sequel? No. It's it's like a the next film he reverse. Did. It's like a view askew reverse movie where there's a character that continues oh, through into yeah, the next one. Okay. Also, it's or his car. Movie. It's his car at the beginning. Oh. He's the one who drives into the, into um, the gas uh, the into service, the ga- station. service station. Oh, that's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. Huh. But uh, yeah, that's it was just uh, it was unexpected. I did not know what to. You know, I thought uh, uh, this is this was a very important art film. It won a lot of Oscars. This film. And uh, and it won all over all the big European festivals too. It's I didn't know what to expect at all. I didn't know even know it was a musical when I watched it. So it was kind of a great yeah. surprise. Um, I, I was amazed though that you know if you think about the kinds of movies like this that would be made in America in 62, 63, uh-huh. and you know, she's pregnant, unmarried, oh. they say she's pregnant. Oh, this yeah. witch. uh the guy. The guy like drops it. Oh shit! You know, I've been, I've been drafted. They're gonna probably send me to Algeria. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is the first time I'm pretty sure I've ever seen someone sing the word hand grenade in a <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. They don't show up in the very much. Those hand grenades, they don't. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's such an oddity. Uh, and also, uh, yeah, he comes, I mean, back, he comes back, uses up all of his uh, his money, and he starts sleeping with the hookers, and it's like he just falls all the way down, man. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Good, it's really interesting stuff. Hmm. And then you leave all that pesky recovery part out. Yeah, like pretty much, the... pretty much. Just so you think, oh, she's better off with the jewelry store guy. You know, he's not I as think handsome. She is actually. Yeah. Also, yeah, like I said, her. everybody's growing up and facing reality. I know. People are extremely shitty to veterans in this movie too, which yeah. is uh, another yeah, interesting odd, thing. <laughs> he's he's injured. Well, I mean. It, by this point this is 57 right 57 58 uh-huh. like um the, he comes the, back in 59 he's at 59 and he comes back so by yeah. that point absolutely the public had turned against the war yeah, like right. it mm-hmm. interestingly vietnam wasn't their vietnam this was their vietnam mm-hmm. also, right. has some, has i gotta some... say one thing go ahead by all means i would have waited for any of you longer then she waited for him to come back from the war in Algiers. <laughs> I'll give you Jesus, that. Mary and Joseph. The, the bread wasn't even cold out of the oven. And not she's really, like no. fucking Mary and the jeweler. <laughs> well, she's knocked up and he won't send letters to her. Hey, she's she's like, well, he got blown up. Remember, he was in the yeah, hospital yeah. with a I shrapnel why, in his leg. Well, the thing is, the thing is this says view. it all. Hot girls don't wait. Hot girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that like Catholic, school girls? Catholic yeah. school girls? Is that Catholic school girls? Uh, in yes. trouble, yeah. Anything else on this? Oh, you want to hear the? You want to hear Chris's thing? Sure. Yes. Yeah, let's hear Chris. Umbrellas of Cherbourg, which is a cute. It's a Norman town, right? It is in Normandy. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, and it's is... a big naval base. Which oh, wow. they had those sailors going through. Oh, sailors every... were everywhere yeah. in this film. Well, they? and yeah, and and shipwrights and docks and yeah, those yeah, things. Yeah. Like when they're when they're on their date early on, they're walking through all of that industrial machinery. Yeah, that's and right. It's like, oh man, are you guys gonna fuck under this crane? That's awesome. Yeah, I thought you were gonna <laughs> over a bunch of ropes in the middle of the road. It's, it looked pretty dangerous out there. No handrails. Okay, what, what a strange and charming curiosity this is. I didn't really know anything about it other than it shows up on a lot of best lists and is apparently Damien Chazelle's favorite film. The set and our decoration- That's what I brought up. Yeah, the set and our decoration are definitely worthy of praise, but with the exception of the ending, I found the story was slightly lacking. So much so that I constantly wondered if I had it filmed, that if had it been filmed as a straight romantic drama and anyone would be talking about it 50 years later. The decision no. to film it as a semi-musical, semi-musical, <laughs> uh, but um, was obviously an inspired one. I did end up enjoying it and giving it a mild thumbs up. So I guess he's up here somewhere. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But well, that's interesting. He points it out. It's like, what if this was a straightforward story? Well, would they be any different? No. Well, no, no, I don't think it would work because I think what they wanted to do was because they have the thing as an opera, as like continuous music all right. the way through. Mm-hmm. Uh, they they didn't want to go with like a hard to understand story. So they picked a very, very simple story. A lot, story. Of, a a simple lot of operas, story. a lot of operas don't work as straight ahead. Um, right. Yeah. just like acting performances like and yeah. there's always exaggeration i think yeah, the, the marriage of figaro is probably the, the best story. example of that right. yeah. i i love i love rent um not the movie but 
like actually the staged version of rent but mm-hmm. like rent as a like actual just drama about those people would be <laughs> boring it would be very boring yeah it would be like it, it only survives on the quality of its Wait, music. would it be la bohème it is la bohème i know that's the thing and there's an yeah. opera la bohème and there's rent okay well this gets confusing <laughs> And uh, La Boheme is one of the very few operas I've seen all the way through. So there it is. Oh. <laughs> I've seen well, now you've seen another one. Okay, I have, I have. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Um, uh, I was going to say something about the, uh, the fact that uh, Catherine Deneuve's character uh, has that little speech she makes to her mother about how uh, absence is such a strange thing. And now when I think about, forget what the boyfriend's name is. Guy. 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 When Guy. I think about Guy, I can't even picture his face. All I can picture is the picture I have of she's him. She's got a very short fucking memory. She's, as Sheila says, she's got a very short <laughs> fucking memory. Going back but, to the hot thing I mean, again. <laughs> that effectively blunts whatever list, passion there is in this love story. I mean, it undercuts it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe. It's well, like, no, is. Is. I mean, the, if there's a tragedy of her settling for somebody else that she doesn't love or doesn't love as much, the jewel jewelry guy, it's like, eh, it's okay. She didn't even remember Guy after, you know, how many months was he but gone? I don't, I don't think this is a tragedy. Like, I think both of these people end up in good places at the they end. Do. Like, like yeah, they he's, just end up in different places. Right. Yeah. He's so happy when when Madeline comes back with their kid at the end. He's playing with the kid in the yep. snow. Yeah, he and, obviously made the right choice. And both of the kids are the same kind of precocious. Like mm-hmm. he's yeah. banging on the, the oil tin and she's honking the horn. Like yeah. It, yeah, yeah. Francis like, and Francois. And they're yeah. both named Frank. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> no, I, like I I, I don't. I, that's one of the things, and that's also one of the things I liked about uh, La La Land. Is oh, I don't yeah. think La La Land's a tragedy either. I think both it's a of the bittersweet. People, it's a bittersweet ending, right? They end up happy, but just not happy in the way that you might have wanted initially going into it. Like, which I think is yeah. an interesting choice for a musical, which is usually very romantic. They're always un- yeah unrealistically romantic. It's happily ever after, yeah. where this is like happily ever after but in the real world not yeah this is considered to be a musical world this is considered to be a new wave film right right yes yeah so it actually weirdly enough this is like a realistic opera yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah (laughs) yeah yeah has anyone seen uh the guitar uh operetta or musical uh i'm positive i've not a and woman is a woman. I think it's shot in technoscope, Scott. You oh, I got to see it now. <laughs> it's like three to one, and it's his oh. first color movie, too. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> and they just, they can't dance. They really can't sing. They can't <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's just him riffing on what a musical is or oh, all the yeah, musicals yeah. he sat he's, through. He probably saw this and saw the, all the Oscars. The guy says, you know, I'm going to give it a shot at least. I'll give it a shot, too. <laughs> well, thumbs. I mean, mine mine is entirely like I, I loved everything except the music, so I have yeah. to give it a thumbs down. So you but do what like, you everything else, everything else about it's great. I'm, I'm glad, glad I saw it. it. Yeah, I never but saw it. it, it, it no, it I'm too. Seldom re- le- re- re- uh, rose above the level of an oddity for me. It's 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 yeah. a peculiar I mean, thing. Yeah, it's well, so beautiful. It's beautiful it. though. Yeah, it's pretty like, colors. You grew up. I could watch with... this. I could watch it's this with the sound off. Like those colors. I, I <laughs> no, could watch this that, with that's... the sound off and the subtitles off, and yeah. completely like if this was playing in a bar, like you're sitting in a bar. Oh, and they be perfect. Have it, uh, they have it just on the you know the side yeah. screen, like that would be great. Sure. Like there's a point in about one hour and ten minutes before the end of the film, as I realize that I'm watching it, and you just kind of accept what's happening with the soundtrack, and it's kind of like being on drugs. <laughs> like, it's like this is how movies are okay let's just gonna watch the rest of this I mean, you get, this is the only at, thing at, i know at that point it penetrates and you're like well this is just it's a natural flow at that point it's weird mm-hmm. it takes a while but you do works. get yeah. used to it yeah, yeah you do get used to it